I guess I'll see it over there today. Worth advice? You better not sit there, buddy. Mm hmm? Is your seat reserved? Something like that. Besides, why hide in the corner? Come over. This is a glass of three. Uh, uh sure. <laughs> you sure can pound them. Looks like you can hold your liquor. Yeah. Looks like you can hold yourself in a fight, too. Mind telling me how you make your living? Mm. Hey, can't you say if you don't want to? Just, you know, curious. Yeah. No, it's not that. It's a little complicated. But I've had to go straight recently. Huh? Had to go straight, huh? So, used to be... His face looks kinda odd, like he's kinda grimacing. Boss man, the usual. Hey. Of course, right away, sir. Does this video was just... Shh. Mm -hmm. Hmm? You seem a little oblivious, let me bring you up to speed. That guy who just came in? Whoa, don't look now. He's a mobster. Is that right? Huh, you're not facing the least. Well, I suppose that makes sense, being an ex-Yakuza and all. The information he pieced together, he waits here for customers to come to him and buy weapons. Weapons? Ah. Yeah, guns, smuggled from China, cheap to source, and worth a bundle selling to Japanese. How do you know all this? <laughs> I'm a journalist. You know the magazine Weekly Shin Shinjitsu? I write for them. Yeah. No, I can't say I do. So, you're a journalist. Name is Kas Kasuga. Kiryu. Kiryu-kun, huh? There. It's in the memory bank now. See? I'm thinking the dark side of Kamurocho. This town's been meeting some shady characters. I want you to get the inside scoop and blow the cover lid off. And blow the cover the covers clear off. Dark side of Kamurocho, huh? Mm. I'm not sure it's a good idea. One false step and you could find yourself on the way way over your head. <laughs> eh, it's not a problem. I've been through worse. I've covered wars, you know. <laughs> sorry, sorry, bad reference. I know what you hold them and what you fold them. Seriously, what are these, these eyes are creeping me out, man. It's not about his face, he's just throwing me off. Barkeep, whiskey and water. Hi. Right away, sir. Boss man, I'm sipping out for a minute. Certainly. See? They go out together. He sells her guns. I see. For my story, I need a sense of gritty realism. I need to get close to the action. It even means taking risk. So here's my plan. I'm going to try buying a gun from him. Ready? What? Anyone can just walk up and buy a gun? Uh. Yeah. Sit next to him and order whiskey and water, supposedly. That's the signal. Oh, yeah. Remember you ordered whiskey and water, too. I was skeptical at first, but now I'm convinced. You can take like a shot at it. Not today, but soon. Boy. No good can come from a civilian striking a match under criminal affairs. Lay fire and you're, go and you're gonna get burned. <laughs> you're worried for me? Appreciate it. Maybe next time I can interview you, Kiryu-kun. I mean the mood. Hey, don't be that way. Tell you what though. Let's run our sorrows here again sometime. But next time, we drink on your tap, Kiryu-kun. Turn, I'll tell you stories you wouldn't believe. Okay then. That seems like a dangerous plan, good sir.
I show you, can I get drunk? Let's see what I can get here. Give me your most expensive bullshit. Ooh, cognac, Cosio Exo. The pen of the finest graves and both the, with both the spirits produces a full, a full but smooth palate. You haven't had cognac until you tried this one. Here you're drinking sad is a sad image. Here you're drinking alone, I mean. Now, the, okay, so we can get drunk. I'm not gonna do that. Okay. Okay, let's, let's hopefully see if this goes well. You know, hopefully the dude doesn't die in the process. Oh boy, here we go. Guess I was here. Guess I'll say hello. Porky, whiskey and water. Yes, sir. Coming right. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Whiskey and water. The guy next to him is a gun dealer. Let him know who you want a gun you see next to him and order whiskey and water. That's how it went last time. Mm. Kasuga must be making his move right now. Boss man, they've been out for a bit. Are you a reporter? Yeah. Huh? Your, your writing's a dead giveaway. Besides, you've been moving around for a while, sticking glances my way. Yeah. No, uh, I haven't... Shut your hole. We'll sing you sing a different tune. Mine... Wait. Shut your hole. We'll see if you sing a different tune minus a few white and pearlies. Follow me. No, he's done it. Don't stay out of it. If I can ignore this. But first, let's get drunk. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. He's probably going to yeah, so that's he's going to just take me outside. Honestly, I'm not a reporter. Help! I'm sick of clowns like you. Got no choice but to make an example out of you. The next Joker thinks twice. That's enough. You were in the bar too. What's it to you? He's my sworn brother. You mind back enough? What? Sworn brother? Then he's no reporter? Well, at least you're no civilian. Fine then. I'll take your word for it. You can prove it with your fist! You say as you pull a gun, asshole. Alright, you asked for it, good sir. I might be slightly tipsy, but it's little enough to break your face! <laughs> yes, pretty good boy, now crush the nuts! How about that? Fist don't lie. Satisfied? You'll back off now. Fair enough. Deal's a deal. Seriously? Then listen, how about a gun? Uh, sell me a firearm. Oi. Hey. Kasuga. Hm. You got nerve. I like that. If you don't deal with first timers, I'll make an exception this time. <laughs> yes! Score! Ugh. This is a bad idea. Kiryu, you saved me back there. Thanks, man. Go on now. Drink some me. Kasuga. You had balls getting into a deal with it. You had balls setting, getting a deal done after a hairy start. That's got some nerve. <laughs> that's, the least it w that's the least of what it takes to chase down my re what my readers want. Thanks to you, I got a killer story. How about it? How about up in arms, a frightening first hand focus in the district deadliest dealers? Is that exciting? I hope our new friends doesn't read your story. Mm. Now, what do you do with this little toy? You know anywhere I can dump it? That model, oh, that gun is super low res, or at least low texture. Nani. What? Throw that effort, you're just ditching the gun. Well, sure. I mean, I'm a law abiding <laughs> citizen. All I need is a story. The pen is better than the gun. Mm. Honestly, I don't get what makes a journalist tick. Oh. Alright, how about a gift for you? As your reward. I get this feeling you're just dumping it on me, but okay. We're fully upset. 
Thanks. We got a 9mm automatic pistol. Ah, the low star. Alright. I'm sure about next. After that scare, still no lesson learned, huh? You know I can save your ass every time, right? <laughs> Thanks for the warning. That is who I am. Once I catch wind of a new story, there's no stopping me until it's told. If another juicy article starts brewing, I'll fill you up in a scoop. Over a couple of drinks, naturally. <laughs> You're the fearless reporter. Still, there's a lot I don't know about the darker side of, of Kamurocho. Kamurocho's a scarier place than I imagined. Alright, not as heartwarming as the... I feel like it's my favorite one is still the, the, the first one with the kid and the father in the game. What the fuck is with that hairdo? Hmm. Yikes! Oi. Hey, you alright? Uh -huh. uh, I think I was probably just some swaggering punk. Oi, oi! You're an, uh, an old man! This isn't going to end well. Are you alright? Uh, no. Uh, what's the big idea, yo? I'm so sorry, I'm watching where you step shit for brains. What the fuck is with this, dude? Alright. That's what's gonna play out. Ready? What? Hey, I'm so sorry! No, I mean, I'm in a rush, see? So please get lost, you punk ass, and so and so. Okay then. So that was something. What just happened? Damn the Yankee. Oh, right, that was like that style back in the day. I remember reading something about that. What's going on? This is a rough looking crowd. <laughs> Oi! I'm so freaking stoked, man! I wrote a street show by the Yokomichi Silvers. Cut! And we're back, sorry about that. Ah. Too right! Those guys are rock and roll gods! Look at this bitching crowd! They drew all this punk without an ad or nothing! Crazy Kai and the Yokomichi Silvers fucking rule! Jesus Christ, watch your mouth! And keep your pants on. Her Yokomichi, Yokomichi Silvers are gonna hold a Q&A panel too. No effing way. They're famous for never seeing a word and letting their music do the talking. Well, what the hell they'll talk, they'll talk about? It's like some bands doing an event here. It must be popular with the local punks. Hmm? <laughs> okay then. Is that? Yep. Let's figure this out. <sighs> Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, look at all these people! Oh my god, what are we gonna do? Hey, you. Yikes! Jeez, <laughs> please, pal! I need to beat my up. What you doing, shivering around behind me, you ugly knob? Uh, yeah, sorry. I thought you'd apologize for bumping into you earlier. Oi, who. Oh, oh, you're that man! No, I should be apologizing for my own curlessness. I mean, whatever! Piss off! Uh. Um, sure. Now that's an intimidating face. Just his resting face is intimidating. Yeah. Wait a second. Could you possibly be unaware of who I am? Yeah. Hmm? Are you asking if we've met before we bumped each other? If we did, I don't recognize yeah. you. Oh, wait a second. So, you really don't know who I am? Well, of course, that's a relief. Hmm? I'm sorry. I, I was rude not to introduce myself. My name's Kyo. My stage name is Crazy Kyo. I'm the vocalist in a band. Let me guess, the Okimochi Silvers. Same band as the young punks here to your side, you see? Aren't you guys a legendary Yankee band? Yes, that's us! We're we'll a street show here later. Oh, sorry to bug you before your show then. Good luck. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Where the hell do you think you're going, old man? I mean, whoa, wait, please, sir, don't go! Mm -hmm. Christ, dude, like, make up your mind. Maybe. Maybe you can save me. Save you? Nani. What? Are you in a hardcore in the slightest? Nope. It's a joke. We tried dressing up as all punk at a show. 
Go Chuck, we got pretty popular with the Yankee crowd. But now we gotta keep up the charade full time. For time, we gain a fan base of Wallami punks. And the Kimoshi Silvers became heroes to the rebellious Jews of Japan. That whole style is called Yankee now. Mm. Huh. So, there's more to an band than I thought. So, what do you mean by saving you? I, uh, actually, I want you to teach me how to be a hardcore hooligan. Daddy? Teach you? Be a Yankee? Yes. See, for today's event, we're also going to have a live panel. A meet and greet for the fans. But every member of the Okamoshi Silvers, myself included, is a law-abiding choir boy. We've never been shoplifted. If we were so much as stuck, if we were to talk in front of you real Yankee, they were like little phonies. Big punks, huh? And now that you mention it, the way you talk doesn't really match with how you dress at all. Right. If we spoke to our fans, we lose all our celebrity and popu all our credibility and popularity in an instant. Or worse. What they want for what they want, what did they want revenge on us for fooling them? That is actually a legitimate concern there. Who knows if they might be like the crazy violent fans. I don't wanna do it either. Our agency says we need to do it to hone our speed but the agency says we need to hone in our speaking skills. We need to stay popular. They're making us do this. We will avoid in every situation where we might be well, we might have to talk instead of performing, but now... Got it. I'm going to teach you how to behave like a Yankee so you can talk like one. But why me? Why? Well, it was because you're my idea what a hooligan should be. That confident demeanor. Your wrist of sharp glare. The barbed wire attitude that says, Touch me and get cut. And yet, you succeed a sense of kindness. A guy that extends a helping hand to the weak. A hooligan to, with a heart of gold. That's my ideal Yankee. Well, yeah, I am a Yakuza. Kind of. Is that gonna be like your whole character now, Kiryu? I am a Yakuza. Sort of. You can teach us not to blow our cover. The more... More than that, I think you can give us Yankees wisdom that will prepare the Yokomochi Silvers to new heights of hooligans. Please, we lose this chance. Yokomochi Silvers may break up. Please teach us how to carry ourselves like a true Yankee. Eh, yeah, sure, why not? Might be funny. Okay, then. Not sure how useful I can be, but I'll try. Really? Thank you very much. Oh, and I'm so sorry I didn't catch your name. It's Kiryu. Okie dokie, Kiryu Sen. Give me just a second, please. I'll get the others. Oh boy, this is gonna be a mess. So you keep you waiting. This is our drummer, Lisi Tarashi. Hey, hey there, I'm Tarashi. My stage name is Lizzie, but I have no experience with the ladies. Never even seen a boob. Nah, uh, dude. Oh, wait, the 80s internet was not that good back then. My bad. In this basis, bad boy Aku. I'm um, Aku. Hobby is caring for the elders. And this is Kiryu, who's going to be part of the ways of a true Yankee hooligan unto us. Please teach us, Kiryu. <sighs> You're so, so polite and proper. I'm starting to wonder if there's anything I can even do for you. Oh no! Please don't say that. We're all pretty good guys at heart, so please help us. In your case, pretty good guys is a problem. I did agree to do this, so somehow we're gonna have to turn you guys into hard-headed punks. <laughs> Ooh, yes! Please! So, how can I make you guys to be tougher? Can you just, sit, you just stand up back to sit down? Be humble? Mm. Well, now you can come up with an opening remark for little old me. The opening remark? Yes, as you keep up our panel with authority, being hooligans, we shouldn't come across like weak or hesitant. Please, kill you. We need a zinger of an opening line to set the tone. Do you all love that we're gathered here today? Charge your engines, I like that one. Hello, but in English. I'm gonna open up with start your engines. Start your engines? Ooh, I like, like a racing term. Uh, right. I think your movement was inspired by, by Western greasers. They love their wheel. They love their wheels. So true. That that does go with the Yankee lifestyle. So follow it up with like you get my pinstones pumping, don't you think? <laughs> That's good. Wouldn't hurt to throw in something like ramming to overdrive either. <laughs> right, right. I didn't think about that one. I'm so glad we got your advice, Kiryu. Ooh, ooh, Kiryu, send question. Hmm? What is it? 
Well, the agency told me to tell fans how much I spend my days off when I'm not rehearsing or performing. Your days off, huh? Makes some sense that fans will want to know what their heroes are, lives are day to day. Tarashi, how would you spend your days off? Well, make a habit of make, getting up bright and early so they can make some pancakes. For breakfast, I take my darling puppy Chibi-chan out for a mid-morning stroll. And then, we have lunch at a chick cafe to rest our feet. On our way home, we do a little window shopping, and after that, I binge all the dramas that I got my this yard until it's bedtime. Mm -hmm. You just described a typical girl's day style. Huh? <laughs> Kiri, you just called... You just fucking called him a girl. <laughs> Sorry, but... Uh, that really made you sound like a fashionable woman. <laughs> I'm just picturing like... Like... Like greasy... Like le greasy, sleazy type... Uh, dude here. He was walking around like looking at fashion stores and whatever. I... I'm... I'm so scared. Oh no, Kiryu-san. You just shout like that. You made Sixty Tadashi cry. It's a bit much, don't you think? Oh, oh dear. Oh my god. You should say sorry. Uh, yeah, my bad, Tadashi. It's... It's alright. Yeah, I, I was just startled. I wasn't expecting it, it's all... So, um, I would spend my day off. Uh, right. One thing's clear. Can't tell them how you really spend your free time. No. I guess not. But then, why should what should I say? What should I do? What should I be doing instead? Fighting all day. On your days off, you spend your time fighting on dot from dawn to dusk. Fighting? I don't get it. But who do hooligans fight? Yankee has sworn enemies or something? It's not about having enemies. Yankee are always ready and willing to fight. You punt. You. If two punks lock eyes, the fight is on. That's how... That is how... That's how it is on the mean streets of Kamurocho. And so you know. Fist fighting is considered the most hardcore but cool. Yeepers! Don't fucking say yeepers. This makes you think of, um... Uh, what's his face? Alfin from, um... From Octopath Traveler. Also, that game is fucking rad. Yeah. Hold on. Dogs and the punks in... The, do the dogs that punks keep tend to be fiercely loyal and thirsty for blood. They, oft they are often trusted, trusty partners in a street what? fight. Is that right? I can't picture my delicate chibi chan engaging in a kerfuffle like that. <laughs> oh boy, my glad I could hit up a you for advice. You're the perfect hooligan role model. Kill you, sir. Mm hmm? Hmm? Uh, you're a bad boy, Aku. What's the matter? Why should I say? Hmm. Aku. You didn't get a topic like Tarashi? Nope. Yeji told, told him. Yeji told him to wing it. He's free to talk, whatever. Even though he's practically a mute. Bad boy even has a backstory. Locked up in a juvenile reformity from birth. Bad boy crushed a pack of punks before he even finished preschool. Hmm. Yuji is trying to square up a peg. Your, your agency is trying to fit a square peg in a round hole. Gives a man three words with a crazy backstory. What should you talk about? What should he talk about to make him sound hardcore? Do you even... Do you think it's better if you say you just stay quiet? Huh? Stay quiet on the panel? Would a discussion without any, any talking be a disaster? Yeah. Nope. Aku was told that he's free to talk about whatever he wants. That means he's also free to not talk at all. That's true, but... Wouldn't it be worse if he wants to say something wrong and things break his image? From Aku's backstory... I think he would seem more hardcore if he kept his mouth shut. When you put it that way, it makes total sense. Okay, we'll do that. That way Aku is speechless during his part. Uh, sure, Aku, are you good with that? Okay. Alright. Now we'll go over about how to run the whole panel discussion. Yes, please! Okay, good. Do I have to make any choices for that? How much is Silvers? We're almost ready for you. Uh, Oh, is it time? Uh, fine. Ugh. Yikes. Sorry. Uh, yeah, that was a bad grunt. That was really bad on my end. Like, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'll be watching from the audience. Yes, please watch us. We're gonna hit this hardcore Yankee thing out of the park. <laughs> We're gonna kick some ass and stuff. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, I'm really sorry. Here they are! Put your hands together for the Yokomochi Silvers! Uh, you guys don't have a bassist? Both of you guys are guitar players. You guys need a bassist. Wait, original. <laughs> As in, fully custom. Oh, they are popular. You're not talking, they really do look like Reavers. Soaping wet high rock and roll after school. Tarashi, Aku, hit it, boys! Wow, we don't need to get to hear the song. That is disappointing. That concludes today's performance at the Okamoshi Silvers. Just listen to your songs. I can see why Yankee kids across Japan do the Crazy Kyos band. Or Crazy Kyo, that was a band. Crazy Kyo. Now we would like to move on to the special meet and greet panel with the band members. No way! No way! Crazy Kyo's actually going to talk to us? Totally mental! Can't fucking wait to hear bad, bad boy Aku's voice. Here's where it gets real. They better pull this off. Yo! Grease Hounds! Where the Okomoshi Silvers? Start your engines! Yeah! Crazy kill! <laughs> Pull your chest, bros! Finally get a hand at your kill. Crazy kill! He doesn't rev us up and kick us into top gear! He's a total fucking ace! Since we're coming and rocking now, the tunes. We love you all romantic rebels! You punks get our pizzas popping! Right here, under the hood. Oh my god, this is way too much, eh? <laughs> How am I supposed to read that? Four. <laughs> Good. <laughs> the fans are in straight up. What the fuck is this game? Awesome, thank you. Crazy Kyo. Next, I'd like you hear this Lizzy Tarashi and Bad Boy as well. First up, Lizzy Tarashi. There's a question of how you should spend your days off. Ugh, me? I get my days off, then they fighting mostly. This Tarashi's a beast! What a man! Fighting like excess like excess to him! Too wicked for words! Aw shit! <laughs> Aw shit! I'm gonna pay my get my ass kicked by Tarashi any day! Just once! <laughs> but you know! I don't know I, I don't know nothing but a bare knuckle in a brawn. If you need a fist, you need a fight. Yeah! Good. Fence are injured up. Can you spend all day fighting and rip these punks up? Thank you, Sisterashi. And lastly, bad boy Aku. I know I'm paraphrasing, my throat hurts. He looks like he's tired. Huh. That was it? No way! You stood there for a whole panel discussion? That's... Huh. Holy crap! Bad Boy Echo's the coolest! <laughs> what the rebel? <laughs> you know, if I was going to a panel and do you stood there to say nothing, I would be pissed. <laughs> Good. No need to not, not only to let, not only to let Echo stay, stay quiet. Bro, you don't take a big, big talk to make big man. The attitude speaks louder than words. Here you son, were you watching? Yeah, I saw everything. That ridiculous show of a ridiculous blasphemy of a show. Here you son, we try to apply what you learned into what uh, from you into our Yankee panel. <laughs> Your response was fabulous. I'm still in the shock. Uh. Yeah, it seems that way. You guys learned well. I'm proud of you all. It looks like your Kamachi sewers will still shoot up towards stardom at the speed of light. Who you big time, Kiryu san? Oh, a wall shirt. Ah, that was the most fun of your head speaking in public. Here you son. Thanks. From now on, we're going to keep working hard to expand what you taught us into our way of the Yankee. We'll work into our speaking skills as well. Keep your eye on us, Kiryu san. You can watch your silver are still kicking it up at your gear. Yeah. yeah, give it your best shot. That's pretty cool. We will! Alright, that was pretty nice. Your hair's still fucking ridiculous though. 
People sure do have all kinds of challenges to face. At least those guys are diligent. They should survive the rough road of the entertainment world somehow. Don't give up, Yokomochi Silvers. That was so anime, it's like, don't give up! Point at, point at them, that's all that's missing, is just keep you pointing at them with one finger. So let's see what we got here. Uh, abilities, equipment, that was it. Oh, increases our defense, that's good. Ah, shit, I don't actually wear it, that's lame. Ah, whatever, we were recruiting for a pretty good amount of time here. So I'm going to save here, and next recording session I might, I'll decide if I want to do more side quests, or if I want to do... Um, or if I want to move on to plot. But yeah, an hour and 40 minutes of, of side quests was pretty fun. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching, and next time we meet, we'll decide what to do. Again, I apologize for the delay, and I promise to get back into schedule properly. Thank you guys for, so much for watching, I'll see you guys next time on our guitar, and this was Yakuza Zero. Keep on rocking! <laughs> nah, I'm not doing that again. And keep on rocking.